Hi guys, I'm here with a quick sponsor child update video. I just wanted to show you um, what I got in the mail from World Vision. So it's kind of like a spring slash Easter type thing for my sponsor child. Um, so up top it says, I spy a beautiful spring and you're beautiful too. It has her name. And then it says from your friend in Canada for me to sign here. Um, it has fun facts about spring things like facts about bees, um, butterflies, tulips. On this side, fun facts to know and share has facts about daisies, toucans, parrots, monarch butterflies, and rainbows. And then you open it up and it says, look closely, there's lots to see. Find all of these hidden objects in the spring scene. So it's like a seek and find activity sheet. So that's really cute. Um, so I'll be signing that and sending it off. Uh, they provide you with an envelope to, uh, let me see, they provide you with an envelope to send it in, but you have to provide the stamp. You just have to put your return address and then it goes to the local World Vision office here in Ontario and then they forward it on to my sponsor child. That's how their mailings work. So I just wanted to really just come on and show you guys. So I'm excited to fill this out and send it on its way. Um, yeah, it's a cute little picture and lots of things to find. So I'm sure she'll enjoy that. And then the facts, little spring facts is interesting. So yeah, guys, I think that's it for this video. It's a short one, I know, but there's not much else to show or talk about with my sponsor child. Haven't received anything other than this lately. Um, I'm just waiting to see if my... It, well, not if, I'm sure it'll make it there, but when I'm thinking the next letter I get from Francely will probably be her um, thanking me for the package I sent just after Christmas. I think I sent it in January. Sometime in January, I think it was, or maybe early February. I can't remember when I sent it, but it was a while ago. It was at least a month or two. So hopefully it should be there already, if not soon. I can't even remember what I sent out in that package. I'd have to go and watch my video. I'm pretty sure I made a video of it, but it'll be interesting to see what she received. So yeah, I am just recording this video on Thursday afternoon, um, I actually stayed home from work today because I was not feeling well at all yesterday or today. Um, just major headaches, nausea, fatigue, like so bad. So got some extra sleep today and I'm about to head out to the doctors soon because I went to the walk-in clinic on Saturday yeah Saturday and because my ears had been really sore the whole week and I had wondered if um, it was the reason I was getting headaches and dizziness and nausea um, so I thought maybe I had an infection, an ear infection. She checked my ears and she said my left ear looked fine. 
but my right ear, she couldn't tell if there was an infection because it was so plugged up. Like it was like a wall of wax buildup, like, which is weird. I don't know how that happens. Um, but she said it was very dry, so she couldn't clean it out right there and then. Um, and she said that can happen with people that have dry skin, which I do have a lot of dry skin. I have dryness in general. It's part of my lupus. I have like the dry eyes, dry mouth, dry nose. So it's not surprising that I would have dry ears as well, I guess. Um, so for the past few days or five days, I guess it's been now, she said do it for three to five days and come back. I've been having to do this eardrop that she recommended I get from the pharmacy and I had to put it in three times a day and it's to try and soften the wax so that um, she can get it cleaned out. So I'm heading there shortly to go get it cleaned out. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's soft enough that she can do that and then once it's cleaned out she can properly check to make sure that there's no infection and obviously if there is I'll have to get antibiotics but yeah so we'll see what happens with that but anyways guys thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this little sponsor child update and I'll definitely be sure to make more in the future as I receive things and that's it guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.